hey y'all and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you guys how i made this diy moisturizing hair mask so this video is sponsored by bell bar organic so you guys know i have used bell bar organic on my channel before i have several videos but the products that i'll be using today is the witch hazel tea rinse and the moringa and marula oil which are now being offered as standalone products for the first time in bell bar organic history guacamole ultra nourishing hair mask and lastly i have is the rice water shine and strength hair mask what I have in my blender right now is some coconut meat, so the meat of a coconut. But coconuts are great for the hair because it promotes hair growth and it softens the hair as well. Next, I'm gonna add some aloe vera juice. Now, aloe vera is known to nourish the scalp and moisturize the hair. Next thing I'm gonna be using is an actual avocado. Not only is avocado tasty, but it's also very moisturizing to the hair and it helps to condition and repair damage. Then I'm gonna add some honey, and honey is a humectant, which is also a great hair moisturizer. And lastly, I'm gonna add some castor oil. Now, castor oil also moisturizes the hair and it promotes hair growth. Once I got it all mixed into my blender, I'm gonna blend it all up. So what I'm gonna do is grab a, a clean bowl and grab that guacamole hair mask and scoop in about two and a half teaspoons of it into the bowl. Now this hair mask is ultra moisturizing and it deeply hydrates the hair. Next, I'm gonna add the same amount of the rice water hair mask as well. This mask is known to add shine and strengthen the hair while we're building the hair shaft. So once I got those ingredients into the bowl, I'm gonna grab some hot water out of my tea kettle and mix in the powders until it breaks down and make it into like a paste. And then once I like the consistency, I'll then add my mixture that I made in the blender to the bowl. Then I'm gonna mix all the ingredients together and that is going to be my DIY hair mask. Super moisturizing, but also has some good elements of strength. So the last thing I'm gonna do is grab a strainer to strain my deep conditioner just to make sure there are no particles left behind in the mixture. And this is what you shall have. So the last thing that I'm gonna make is the tea rinse. Now the tea is known to reduce product buildup, diminish clogged hair follicles, and remove excess oils. So what I'm gonna do is add about three teaspoons of this tea into a bowl and grab a measuring cup and measure out one cup of hot water to the bowl. And then what I'm gonna do is actually allow this tea to sit in overnight because I wanna be able to reap all the benefits of the tea. And the next day, this is what it should look like. So now the mixture is completely brown. As you can see, the tea has really got, gotten some time to really sit and seep all that goodness out of the tea. So I'm just gonna strain the tea and then pour my mixture into a smaller container so that it makes it easier for me to add it to my hair when I'm in the shower. So now I have my DIY hair mask and my tea rinse. So, all right, I have just finished washing my hair, and so my hair is in this towel. What I do have is my deep conditioning mix that I made and I put in this small container. I hope it is mixed well enough and that I don't get pieces stuck in my hair, but, um, you know, we're gonna find out. So, I'm going to take this portion and pin it up, and then take these twists here and pin that up. I'm going to start off with the back section. This is what my hair is looking like. So I'm going to take that mixture right here and I'm going to apply it all over that section of hair. Once I have that section nice and coated, I'm then going to twist it back up and then twirl this twist into a bantu knot like that. And then I'm going to continue with the rest of the process.
I've gotten all of my hair coated. I just have a little bit left that I'm just scraping. I've got that all applied all over my hair. I'm going to then grab a disposable shower cap and apply that over my hair like this. So just be careful that when you're doing this mix yourself that you're very careful when applying it because it's all over me and it splatters all over my floor. So I'm actually gonna sit under my bonnet dryer and allow my hair to deep condition for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna rinse out the deep conditioner out of my hair and then come back and show you what my hair looks like afterwards. So this is me in the shower rinsing out the hair mask. Once that mask is completely removed, I'm then gonna grab my tea rinse and apply it all over my hair. And then squeeze out the excess water and then head back for styling. All right, so I am out of the shower. Um, it took me a lot longer to rinse out the particles from the coconut in my hair. I probably should have used a nut bag, um, like a cheesecloth versus a strainer, because the strainer did not strain the conditioner as well. Anywho, just wanna show you my hair. I look crazy right now, but as you can still see, there's still like little particles a coconut, but nothing, not that much. So, but my hair does feel moisturized, which is really nice. Um, I'm gonna take out one of these braids I can show you. This is what I'm working with. All right, so I'll be back once I'm done styling. So, hey you guys, it's the next day. So I wanted to share with you all what I ended up doing to my hair. So my hair is actually a, a stretched wash and go. So I styled my hair using my homemade flaxseed gel. Afterwards, I set it and by diffusing my hair with my blow dryer and then I stretched it using the banding method. The last thing I wanted to do was apply some oil to my scalp. So in the package that I received, um, I did get some, um, some of that soothing sensitive scalp oil. Now the soothing sensitive scalp oil, it's meant to help soothe the scalp by calming down any irritation that you may have. So I'm gonna just fill it in, take one, whatever you call vial, I don't know what you call this thing, but I'm just gonna apply some on my scalp and smooth that in. Make sure to get into the front of my So now I'm just gonna rub the oil into my scalp. Apply some to my edges, because you can't forget about those edges. All right, so this is the final look. So my hair still feels super nice and moisturized. It's really voluminous, and which is just the way that I like it. Um, and so I definitely love the deep conditioner. It really helped my hair by infusing all those moisturizing elements that I included into my DIY recipe. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys have any other DIY recipes that you like. What are some of your favorites? Let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear what some of your recipes are. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button now and turn on the bell for notifications. As always, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.